Wow, Alaska looks good on you, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I was just on moose tracks too on my guitar. Woo! What is up, YouTube fam? Boy, do I have a treat for you today. I flew into Anchorage to meet up with my friend Lisa. Lisa and I became friends when she was going to dental school in Salt Lake City and I was going to Utah Valley University. And right from the beginning, we did all of the coolest things together. We went pheasant hunting, we went fly fishing, and now we are going to look for moose antlers in Alaska. How cool is that? Lisa picked me up from the airport and we went en route to the moose shed hunting spot. We had a long drive to stay in some cabins where we hired a pilot to fly us in in a bush plane to some rugged Alaskan moose country. Right off the bat on the side of the road, we saw so many moose. Our cabin was right alongside the beautiful Kenai River. And I should add that Lisa's originally from Alaska. This was my first trip to Alaska and everywhere I looked, I was absolutely blown away. I love living in Utah, but I crave really wild places and Alaska is just that. The weather said it was gonna be really cold and wet and our pilot here even recommended we wear waders, but it ended up being so hot as you'll see later because I take all my layers off. First, we started flying around in the plane. We got pretty low and the goal was to look for moose antlers. Now, right away when we started doing this, I thought there is no way I'm ever gonna spot one. Look how fast we're moving. That's because this is an airplane. But sure enough, right off the bat, I saw one and it was probably about a medium sized shed and I freaked out pretty good because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But then shortly after that, I saw a second one that was an absolute beast, a giant. And in the split second that I saw it traveling this fast, I knew that it had a giant base, it was brown, and that it was just a big antler in general. So we kept taking a couple laps and to see if the pilot and Lisa could find it. Lisa was able to see it pretty quickly and so was the pilot. Then we tried looking for specific pine trees and markers in this vast wilderness to give us an idea for where it would be after we landed. We spotted a couple more from the air and decided to land. The pilot warned us that it was going to be a pretty bumpy landing and it actually wasn't really that bad. So. He must be good at what he does. Flying in the bush plane and landing in the Alaskan backcountry was honestly one of the coolest things I've ever done and I will absolutely never forget it. We had a long hike ahead of us and the goal was to find some of the smaller sheds that we spotted from the air first. I was really nervous about finding the big one. The pilot said it is not uncommon to see them from the air and not find them from the ground because it's a wild maze out there. I hear you talk and I'm like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> a brownie! It's nice and brown. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh my god. I was just on moose tracks too. I'm like, it's here. <laughs> that is crazy. Right? Look at the genetics though. Look at this, the brow tines. That's so cool. It's got five. That's just like. Is that good? Phenomenal for here. That's crazy. Right in a pile of scat. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it looks a little bit bigger from the airplane. Isn't it that did. crazy? No, to tell you the truth, I thought it was definitely bigger than that. That's crazy. But it's just, to me, it's so cool though when they're flawless like this. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. No chew. That's beautiful. It's so amazing to think that we actually saw this thing in the. That's like, wild. You, yeah. I think all this brush around us, you'd never see it. Right? Yeah. And somehow your eyes pick that out. That's why I freaked out every time I saw one because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually see one. That is so cool. All right, first moose antler ever. I've never found a moose antler. And it's so pretty, fresh brown. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so dense. Like, and it's perfect too. Like, no breaks. Beautiful burr. Oh, it's so pretty. So cool. All 
All right, you guys, I just spotted another moose antler. I don't know if it's the one I saw from the plane. It could be. Let's go check. Dang, that's so cool. Brownie. That's awesome. The one I saw from the plane is bigger. We'll still take it though. How cool is that? All right, second one of the day. So exciting. Just found this one. Left side. Kind of comparable in size. This one's a little smaller. Let's pick this one up. Woo! There it is. I think Lisa just found one. <laughs> so cool. I hired antler. <laughs> All right, let's stack them up. There's got to be so many more in here. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> so cool. Is that your first Alaska moose antler? Woo! Brownie! That's oh, so cool. So fun. Come on, Shed! Oh my god, I was so nervous, Lisa. Holy sh that's huge. I knew it. I could tell it was so big. Oh my gosh. Look at the, look at how thick and heavy it is like on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Get my shadow. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Well, this is a pretty crazy story. I spotted this one from the plane and Lisa walked up on it. So I'm just so glad we found it. I was like nervous from the second we landed because I could tell it was big. All I, I saw these fronts and I was like, it has massive fronts. I just knew that and I could tell it was brown. So it's coming home with us now. Let's pick it up, Lisa. All right. Oh my gosh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Jeez. Here, hold it up. Flip it over. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. Wow, but it's got this cool knob right here. Right, and no brakes, like it's mint. And look at that burr. <laughs> wow. Massive. Dang. Hell yeah. See the other side real yeah. quick. Yeah. Flip it. Wow, look at that chocolate. Ugh. That what? is cool. Where is the other side? <laughs> <laughs> it's torture. Actions <laughs> don't usually work like that. That is so insane. You're gonna be like Your backpack is carrying out my body weight today. <laughs> That's what we like. That's insane. Is this going to be heavier than your best elk pack carry out this year? I think so. I think the most like elk sheds I've packed is probably like 65, 70 pounds. Oh, yeah. This will be up there, right? Oh, it will. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, I'm so excited. We weighed all our packs last year, and I think my record was 98. Holy Ooh. cow. Yeah, that was one trip. The rest of them were all like 75 to 80. That's still a lot. It is. Upper straps. We're gonna have to design girls' packs just for days like this. <laughs> Seriously. Right? We need extra wide straps. That's insane. Yeah, that's the you, toughest you part. Sh let's, let's see what she does on her own yeah, first. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Yeah, this, it might be comical. Let's see. It's actually not that bad. I think, you know what? I think I'll put a little wrapper around like that. Kind of keep the weight forward. This will be Whew. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. <laughs> Gonna get it to my knee. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> that or I'm getting stronger. <laughs> wow, Alaska looks good on you, Bridget. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Just a year old, like it's in good shape. It's like it's only a little bit of chew on that very top. Yep. <laughs> nice. That is so cool. <laughs> Hell yeah.
What's up YouTube? I am back from Alaska and I wanted to show you, yes, the moose antlers did make it home. The giant one included. I packed it in such a funny way on the plane with um, foam and bubble wrap and tape and a cardboard box, but you know what? It worked and I'm so happy it's here safe. If you guys have any cool recommendations for how I can display it or what I should do with it, let me know. I would love for it to have its very own spot on the wall somewhere where everyone can really look at it and enjoy it. So drop that in the comment section. This was probably one of my favorite videos that I've released. Maybe even today, it was so much fun to film and edit and to be there and enjoy Alaska with my friend Lisa. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Spread the word. YouTube is a big portion of what I do for a living and I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much. I'll probably do more moose antler videos in the future when I do figure out where I wanna display them and what I wanna do with them. But for now, it's getting to be a long video. I just wanna say thank you once again, guys. We'll see you on the next video.